Although space may be the last unexplored territory, any brave human without an excellent spacesuit will find traveling extremely difficult. Spacesuits have been a part of several pivotal historical events throughout the past 50 years. Being in a spacesuit is a fantastic experience because it helps you understand what astronauts go through and how much work is involved. Since the body isn't floating inside the suit, you can take advantage of gravity. Wearing a spacesuit in Earth's gravity is considerably different from doing so in microgravity from an operational standpoint. However, you get a sense of how cramped it is, how you must adapt your movements to work with the suit, how rapidly your body produces heat while working, and where all the pressure spots are. Spacesuits are made using a wide range of components and production techniques. Fabricators use various techniques including sewing, thermal welding, radio frequency welding, bonding, dipping and taping to assemble the soft goods sections, gloves, arms, legs and other pieces. But to safeguard astronauts who are risking their lives in the cause of space exploration, the first functional spacesuits were introduced in the early 1960s. Here is a timeline of the six decades of change in astronaut spacesuits. 1. Mercury suit, 1961 to 1963. US citizens first entered Earth's orbit as part of Project Mercury. When NASA's Mercury program began, the spacesuits were based on earlier pressurized flight suits used in high-altitude aircraft. Nevertheless, NASA strengthened the suit and allowed it to resist extremely high temperatures by adding a substance called Mylar. Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth when he launched his Mercury Atlas MA6 rocket into space on February 20, 1962. 2. Gemini suit, 1965 to 1966. Gemini was NASA's second space program and it had higher objectives. A two astronaut crew was launched into space in the Gemini capsule for one uncomfortable two week trip. The Mercury spacesuit, not intended for spacewalking, had to be modified when Project Gemini was developed since it was difficult for astronauts to move while it was pressurized. When creating the Gemini suits, the David Clark Corporation went above and beyond to make them more comfortable than Mercury outfits. The Gemini astronauts discovered that trying to cool their suits with air was ineffective. The astronauts' helmets would fog up on the inside from too much moisture because they were frequently overheated and worn out during spacewalks. The designers might be connected to a portable air conditioner to keep the astronauts cool until they could connect to the spacecraft's lines. They weighed 16 to 35 pounds. 3. Gemini Spacewalk Suit, 1965 to 1966. The G4C Gemini suit was created with NASA's initial spacewalks in mind. The Gemini Titan IV astronaut Edward H. White II floats amid space's absence of gravity. The extravehicular activity was carried out by the Gemini 4 spacecraft during its third round. A 25-foot umbilical line and a 23-foot tether line wrapped with gold tape to form one rope anchor White to the spacecraft. White holds a handheld self-maneuvering unit in his right hand, or HHSMU. His helmet's visor is gold-plated to shield him from the sun's glaring beams. 4. Apollo Spacewalk Suit, 1967 to 1975. NASA anticipated that astronauts would have to walk on the moon when it launched the Apollo program. So spacesuit designers developed some inventive solutions using the data they gathered from the Gemini program. More protection was required for the astronauts than either the Gemini or Mercury suits could provide. The outfit had a substantial life support system 
sturdy boots, and a dozen layers of fabric. On Earth, each weighed more than 180 pounds, but the Moon's lesser gravity reduced their weight to one-sixth of that amount. The Apollo astronauts' spacesuits were no longer air-cooled. The astronauts' body might be cooled with water, like how a radiator cools a car's engine thanks to a nylon undergarment mesh. 5. First Space Shuttle Flight Suit, 1981 The first orbital spaceflight of NASA's Space Shuttle program was dubbed STS-1, or Space Transportation System 1. When the first shuttle flight, STS-1, lifted off on April 12, 1981, astronauts John Young and Robert Crippen wore the ejection escape suit. The first 100-ton orbiter, Columbia, launched this two-person crew into space and completed 37 orbits of the planet before re-entering the atmosphere and returning to a runway. Astronauts weren't venturing outdoors. They just wore the emergency ejection escape suit, which, like the Mercury suit, was a modified version of the US Air Force high-altitude pressure suit. 6. Space Shuttle Flight Suit, 1988-2011 The suit that astronauts wore during the Space Shuttle program is sometimes called a pumpkin suit for its bright orange color. The launch and entry helmet with communications equipment, the parachute pack and harness, the life raft, the life preserver unit, the gloves, the oxygen manifold and valves, the boots and the survival gear are all included in the suit. Orange flight suits also provide the best visual contrast in emergency smoke or water landings. 7. Extravehicular Mobility Unit, 1979 to the present. The International Space Station was built and maintained in orbit regularly by astronauts during the Space Shuttle era. For such operations, they needed a spacewalk suit that could be used repeatedly. Therefore, NASA developed the Extravehicular Mobility Unit. Astronauts might survive in orbit for more than eight hours thanks to this 14-layer pressurized suit which could withstand the hostile vacuum of space. It could weigh nearly 320 pounds on Earth when fully loaded with supplies and equipment. The manned maneuvering unit, which NASA also tested for the EMU, was a device that resembled a jetpack and let astronauts fly around unrestrainedly. Due to a device resembling a jetpack called the Manned Maneuvering Unit, shuttle astronaut Bruce McCandless became the first astronaut to float in space untethered in February 1984. MMUs are no longer used, but astronauts now wear a similar backpack device in case of emergency. 8. Sokol Launch and Entry Suit – Present the Sokol, or Falcon, spacesuit, which you can see many astronauts wearing today, is actually a Russian design. The 22-pound suit, which is used to protect passengers aboard Russia's Soyuz spacecraft, is remarkably similar to the Space Shuttle flight suit. The Sokol was introduced in 1973 to be worn during launch and landing, and is still used today on all flights of the Soyuz spacecraft. 9. SpaceX Crew Dragon Flight Suit, 2020 to present The sleek white spacesuits were designed by Elon Musk's company SpaceX. NASA astronauts Bob Nenken and Doug Hurley used them for the first time in May 2020 on the Crew Dragon mission after Elon Musk unveiled them at a press conference in 2017. Jose Fernandez, a Hollywood costume designer that has worked on movies like X-Men, Dark Phoenix, Aquaman and Thor Ragnarok, came up with the design. While elegant and futuristic, the suits were only made for the Crew Dragon capsule and are unsuitable for taking a spacewalk. SpaceX created the form-fitting pressure suits with comfort in mind. Unlike the bulky orange suits worn by NASA's Space Shuttle, the sleek black and white suit is maneuverable. Each SpaceX suit is handmade, tailored and customized for the astronaut wearing it. 
10. Boeing CST-100 Starliner flight suit, 2022 to present. Supposedly planned in 2019, Boeing debuted their vivid blue Starliner flying suit in June 2022. It is intended for use with the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft, which will soon launch their first crew into space. The suit includes the helmet and is fastened with a heavy airtight zipper. This is the first in the entire field of space and spacesuits. Adam Savage, who has since co-hosted the Discovery Channel program Mythbusters, described his excitement about the news as over the moon, which he acknowledged was a bit of a stretch among his other projects. He has developed a reputation for creating incredibly accurate costumes of vintage astronaut attire. 11. Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit Suit 2023 By the summer, NASA will get the Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit Suits, sometimes known as AX-EMUs. The prototype, revealed in March 2023 in dark grey and orange, is not the final product. It will be white. On the moon, Astronauts must dress in white to reflect heat and safeguard themselves from extreme temperatures. The new Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit spacesuit will provide astronauts advanced capabilities for space exploration while providing NASA with commercially developed human systems needed to access, live and work on and around the Moon. The advanced spacesuits ensure astronauts are equipped with high-performing, robust equipment designed to accommodate a wide range of crew members. Currently, manned space exploration is in transition to its next phase, which will consist of commercial space exploration and NASA-led efforts. As space tourism increases and more people travel to space, new spacesuits will be required to meet the needs of these types of travelers.